Hi guys, I'm Russ Still with Gold Seal. If you took your initial Part 107 test in the last two years, you're probably aware that you must recertify as a remote pilot by taking a new FAA test. This one is called the Recurrent Test. When you first got your Part 107 certificate, you became a remote pilot. That doesn't expire and doesn't change over time. You're still a certificated remote pilot. But every two years, your right to exercise the privileges of your certificate must be renewed. And that's what the Remote Pilot Recurrent Exam does for you. It resets your currency so that you may operate for another 24 calendar months. Now, don't feel like you've been singled out. Pilots of manned aircraft have a similar requirement. They have to undergo a flight review with a certificated flight instructor every 24 calendar months. So it doesn't matter if you're a private pilot or a remote pilot. We all have to undergo some type of examination every 24 months to remain current. The recurrent test differs a bit from the initial test. Instead of 60 questions, the recurrent test only has 40. And while the initial test covered all the topics in the Remote Pilot Airman Certification Standards, the recurrent test is somewhat abbreviated. The recurrent test doesn't cover weather, loading and performance, aeromedical factors, or radio communication procedures. It mainly drills down on sectional charts, the national airspace system, and regulations. You can also expect to see questions related to waivers and authorizations, emergency procedures, ADM or aeronautical decision making, and maintenance and inspection procedures. If you're a Gold Seal member, you'll see a small icon next to the lessons that relate to the recurrent exam. That makes it easy to filter out the material you don't need to study. So the ground school is perfect for both your initial exam as well as your recurrent exam. Since the recurrent exam resets your 24 month clock, I don't recommend taking it early. Try to take it during the same month that you took your previous exam. You have until the last day of the month to get it done. The recurrent exam is administered by the CATS testing centers. Give them a call at 844-704-1487, provide your zip code, and they'll tell you the closest testing centers to you. Pick the one you want, and they'll schedule it for you right there on the phone. The price of the test is $150. As with the initial exam, you must pass the recurrent exam with a minimum score of 70, but I'm betting you'll do much better. Once you've passed your test, the testing center will give you a dated sheet of paper with your score. This is your KTR, or Knowledge Testing Report. It's all you'll need to prove your currency. You don't have to go back to the FAA's IACRA website on the internet. Just keep the KTR with you, along with your certificate when you fly. In fact, just take a picture of it and store it on your phone. A digital copy works just fine. Okay, I'd say that covers about everything. Here's a summary for you. 